Hi everyone, very quick lesson on flossing here. What we've got is Gutemann top stitch thread for flossing. This comes in a wide range of colours, huge range of colours. Um, it's great for tops for, for flossing because it's really strong. It's got a slight sheen, comes in all those colours. It's a buttonhole twist thread basically. Thimble essential, otherwise you will hurt yourself. Needle grabber, also essential because you're pulling a, a needle through some thick fabrics and this just makes it easier, you won't cry. Two pre-threaded needles, you can do, I mean sometimes I have up to 10 pre-threaded needles, just makes it nice and quick. Very sharp snips uh, because with this buttonhole twist you need to get a sharp end so that you can thread your needle properly little measuring device because you need to be able to measure your your flossing bits and really good really sharp embroidery needles embroidery needles because they have a nice big eye and these are really really sharp these john james needles are the best i found they're really good all these things are available in the so curvy shop the um the flossing itself is easy enough if you've got all the right tools. So this was one I've started earlier. I'm going through in the back here. My design looks like this. It's got six strands on each side. So I'm here at the top, I'm going to go in here at the next the next point of the design I'm going right into the stitches here because I'm using the stitches for measuring my gaps there's the next one and I'm going to come straight back up here I'm not going to go back up to the top or anything I'm going to come straight back up here one stitch away from the last stitch and back out up to the top you always want to come out where you went in because that way you get a nice neat finish come back out again and do the other side I confess I do mine by eye because I feel confident enough to do that but a beginner you might just need to use your ruler a bit more. Now you can see after I've flossed this bit that my thread has got quite short and that is one feature of flossing is that you use quite a lot of thread but I don't have enough thread here to go down the other side so I'm just going to tie this one off and uh, use another thread to just finish the design You'll notice that I've bound the corset before I've started flossing, but I haven't finished it. So when I come to sew this down and finish the corset, um, it will hide most of my knotty bits.
and that's it finished all I need to do now is finish off the back finish off the binding and then that's this corset finished so remember all these tools you can get in the Sokovi shop thank you for watching